What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Third Person Podcast. I am one of your hosts. My name is Chris, and with me are my two main squeezes, Jesse and Mike. <laughs> They're there Hello. on either What's side up? of me. You can see their names, so you got it. So what's up, guys? Welcome to episode number three. Today, we're going to be talking once again about Fear the Walking Dead. This is going to be episode 10 of season two, entitled Do Not Disturb. So if you don't know what we do here, we just go over, uh, we talk about the shows that we like and we talk, we recap and review and we talk about some type of uh, predictions or whatever we felt, our reactions, stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. You guys, you guys have been um, pretty nice to us so far on the YouTubes and um, so we appreciate that. So without further ado, Jesse's going to head over and he's going to take over the recap. So Jesse, take it away. All right. So first off, we start off in a hotel. Seems like there's some kind of wedding going on. Little you know, do they know that it's going to get hectic real quick. Father of the Bride die, or dies on the dance floor with, from a heart attack. Skip ahead to current day. You have Alicia in the hotel still. She runs into the woman that locked the people of the wedding into the room with the uh, walkers. Uh, skip on past that. Skip on past a few other things. And you are with uh, Chris and his dad. Who oh, I, I have now just referred to as Chris's dad because he has so little <laughs> character development. Travis, Travis. Nah. <laughs> Chris's dad. dad yeah. All right. I'm They're on name. the road. They're just trying to survive. Mm, that's pretty much where we're at right now in the story. They're trying to survive. They run into another group and stuff gets kind of hectic. No. Uh, Chris we'll ends up to having end. to kill somebody who is not a walker. And we also run into a new term for Walker. Uh, the Wasted. Yeah, wasted, the Wasted. Yeah, Wasted, yeah. So uh, that pretty much sums up this episode. Oh, and they find uh, Alicia's mom. Who, Madison and... It, and uh, Alicia's mom. Alicia's <laughs> mom. Madison. Yeah, yeah, there you go, yeah. So everybody <laughs> we don't like, we're just going to call them by... Uh, not by their, uh, uh, just by their titles of yeah. who they are in the family. We found Alicia's mom and Strand, because Strand is actually a good character. Strand, there yeah. you go. Mikey, move the thing away from your, your ear maybe a little bit. It was a little... It's kind of blowing out a little bit. Yeah, a little buzzy. Yeah, it's a little little blurring out when you talk. Um, move anyway, what? good. Yeah, no, like that. Yeah, you go. Just move it a little bit. It's away from your, your neck there. Okay, so... I'm, I'm leaving that in anyway. I don't give a shit. So, uh, all right. Good recap, my man. Good recap. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> what do we want to do? Who wants to... Um, I know we kind of were messing with guys. We're still messing with the format of the show, um, but that's our recap section, and uh, we, we usually do a little reactions to stuff now. Mm. And if you don't mind, I'd like to go, because um, that opening scene was... Yeah. You know, a really yeah. great tension scene. Pretty cool, scene. yeah. It yeah. was a really fun tension scene, and I was just waiting, waiting for something to happen. Yeah. Um, and then and then it, it wind it, it wound down and stuff. And so her name is Elena, right? The woman. Elena and, is the uh, hotel yeah. manager. And she kept going over to the dude and like kept saying stuff. And I was like, what? What's what is this? What's going on? Is this like a mob hit? Like what's going mm -hmm. on? I was like, is the bro is the, the broom? Is the groom? Was that the dude at the at the from mm -hmm. the Lamana from the the supermarket? Because he yeah. had like the same type of facial hair. I'm like, is yeah. it the same guy? Is it? You know, obviously it wasn't, but yeah. And then when they fucking lock them in, like the dad, you know, I, you know, it, it, you know, she says he had a heart attack. I didn't even, I just attributed that to the disease. So whatever the heart attack was that he had, I assumed it was from the disease. Yeah. He just randomly have a fucking heart attack all of a sudden, you know? Well, well he looked like an older Usually what happens so. when heart attacks. Well, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of random. As serious as a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah. So anyway, so I mean, so just talking about that initial scene, I thought that mm -hmm. was that was a really cool scene, and obviously it was going to lead into the show. So yeah. I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. You know, what you guys yeah. think of that scene? Uh, I mean, I thought obviously from the beginning, um, you can tell that that's the same room that um, Strand and Madison yeah. um, and Alicia and everybody find out in the beginning. Um, and I remember in the first episode, uh, first episode, the beginning of uh, of when they first walked into the hotel room into the hotel um, reception area, whatever it was, Madison um, found that picture. And it was the same picture that they showed in the flashback. It was a, a bride and groom. Oh. And the wedding cake was there, too. They had the wedding cake there, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, okay, okay. Um, Didn't even get to cut the cake. Yeah, no. It seemed like it was pretty quick. I mean, when we're talking about the flashback, I'd like to talk about a couple of things with, with, with that, which I thought were pretty interesting. Obviously, we found out um, later in the episode who... Um, some of the some of the people that were working there are, you know, obviously Elaine is the hotel manager, 
And the person she was talking to was her nephew, and that was um, Hector, I right. think his name was. Yeah. Yeah, right. And obviously that's who, um, when we get into it a little bit more, but we get into um, who who's still, that there still are surviving guests. And at the end of the episode... Yeah, we didn't know that, right? Yeah, we yeah, weren't... Yeah, at the end of the episode, it was a little confusing to me at first. I was like, there's actually other people living there. Who, who's who's Elena in there uh, in the hotel with? Uh, so we learned more about what's what's been going on since the wedding. But there was a couple things that the mother had said. The mother had told, when the mother um, asked the hotel manager to come up to her, the uh, she had said, something's going on. We're, they were talking about the disease that, that was spreading around. So obviously, it, something, it was in the infancy of it, but it was the beginning of, of the end, the, the beginning of the apocalypse. And the mother had said, uh, we, we, have, we know people, we, we have friends that know. So that was a little interesting. We don't really get oh, into it. Oh, when they said that we wanted to get out of the country. Yeah, yeah, we got to get across the border. And, yeah, so, right. so, so we don't necessarily, they're, they're, I, their last name were the Stowe's. And that was uh, the the last name of the of the man who had the heart, the father, you know, who had the heart attack, and, and the wife, which is still alive. Um, and that was also the groom. Um, I believe his name was Oscar that right. we saw. Yeah. So I thought there was a couple of cool things. And the flashback was definitely, uh, um, you know, a cool situation. And we obviously find out that Elena obviously feels a bit guilty at the end of the episode. We find out for locking everybody in. Yeah, but you know she. Uh... I mean, you can't really knock her for that. All right, no. so she did it, and I was like, oh, my no. God, you dumb yeah. bitch. And, like, that is just fucked. <laughs> and then they and they just kept moving moving the uh, the walkers around the building. Like, look, this woman, she kept the keys on herself because it's, like, part of it is, like, you're just so used to certain things that that's just what yeah. you do. She kept her uniform on, you know, things like that. Meanwhile, everyone changed. Yeah. You know, so um, I don't know. And, I just... and she was locking down. I guess she was living on the floors by herself or something. No, with Hector. Well, she was with Hector. Yeah, well, but... she was with Hector. But then we, where were, where were the? Um, oh, the, other the rest I... of the people. They must have been. She had the keys, and she told Alicia, "I have the power. I have the keys." Yeah, she was like, "I'm going to keep these people away from me." Like, so her and Hector so kept must be somewhere close. She right? moved. They moved the walkers away from to to basically block them from getting to her. That's what she was what doing. Was? Yeah, yeah, she was blocking. You know, she was taking. Anyway, you know. So, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was it was an interesting thing. I, and and staying with um, the hotel portion of the episode. Yeah. yeah. I just I want to talk about Alicia and the fact that. I don't know. So they made her try to be. They made her try to be like a badass and whatever, yeah. and she's yeah. like, it's like whatever, but. She's got her knife and she's marking the walkers and 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 I don't know. She just it was kind of stupid. Yeah, and then but the the, the it's funniest not like she was thing was killing them, right? She was just marking how many she saw. Yeah, and then when she walks out, she walks out and it's like she doesn't have her knife. She's got the fucking flashlight and she's standing there in the hallway looking. <laughs> then also she's like, oh shit, they see me. And then she fucking yeah. goes and I'm like. Where's your white? And she's running with the fucking flashlight. I'm like, why yeah. is your knife not in your hand? You're just marking up the fucking door, and now yeah. you're gonna run without the fucking knife in your hand. I know you can fight walkers. You're not afraid to do that. We get. So then, why are you not? You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, but there was also a lot. She was getting it from both sides. Okay, it, but but you know, if it wasn't have for your weapon thing, out, but... then you're not gonna run through yeah. the hallway with the fucking flashlight. Oh, no, I agree. Light hey, if worse comes right? to worse, at least you have that in your hand and not some, you know. So fucking no. annoying. Huh? <laughs> a little bit of stupidity there on her part. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Although she so, did have a decent part, thinking to jump in the elevator. Yeah. At mm. first, I thought she was going to climb down. I'm like, wait, you can't climb down because the elevator's still there on the, yeah. the floor yeah. below. Yeah. But then, obviously, you can see what she was, you know, what she was doing, you know, as far as trying to lure them off over the edge. Yeah. yeah. And I will say this though about that, and later on when she goes around the balcony and stuff like that, like. I think that I think that was pretty cool. I, I really enjoyed the, I, I'm really enjoying the zombie stuff that they're putting in and how they get in and out of these situations. Yeah, it was kind of cool. You know, her in the her in the elevator, her outside on the ledge. Like, I I like what they're doing. <laughs> they're doing really well with the zombie stuff. And guys, if you hear that weird sound, yeah, going on, yeah. I think that's your headset, Jess. I think it's just because the, be. the headset is. I don't is hear anything. Is. Am I supposed to hear something? <laughs> 
I don't no, know why I, mean, I would I mean, hear it. it could be me. I don't have anything going yeah, on I don't here. Know. But I, don't, I don't know. Anyway. It's like a dull whisper. Um, yeah, it's like whatever. But I think that's because that headset doesn't probably. really want to Probably. It'll be fixed. Well, so. Yeah, you get, you get your new headsets. Um, I'm just trying to think. Was there anything else? Um. Because I have a well, lot to say about the Chris and Travis stuff, but I want I'm, one thing, one last thing with the, I thought how for a second it almost looked like Elena was trapping Alicia when Alicia was stuck on that balcony. At first, I was like, "What the hell is yeah. like wh- where is she? She couldn't like lure them into the room and then go around them, which I thought she was going to do, but yeah, she, you yeah. know what I mean? And then you, it looks like she would take them into an adjourning room. Yeah, where you have that little through right? door, and you get them yeah. in there. You go through the through door. Yeah, lock and in real life, that glass, wouldn't, that glass wouldn't break like that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's there, gotta there's be some, quite a few of them. You know, that's got to be some, uh, I don't know the correct word for the type of glass it would be, but it's got to be some real secure. You strong. would think, yeah, but no, it's cracking yeah. like like it's like Like nothing. it was Safe on ice. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was, yeah. I thought that was, yeah. I thought that was, that was a little strange. I thought that was well, a little listen, strange. They but got it was cool. That's what I'm saying. They got to They got to do what they got to do. Yeah. Just to build that yeah. tension, um, you know, it's just in some of the other shit too. Like, so she's in the room and she's telling her, she's like, "Where's Hector?" And mm. I guess she thought, obviously, Elena thought that Alicia was with one the other of group was with the, the the rest of the, the I was yeah. gonna say the residents, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, the other thing that annoyed me was when she's talking to, you know, obviously she thought that she was part of the the group downstairs. Elena thought Alicia was part of the yeah. group. Um, but I don't know. Some of the dialogue is just like, oh God. I mean, obviously they, it's, it's that character, how that character would react, but she stands up. The woman is like, I'm not going to let you out of the room. She stands up and Alicia like towers over the woman. Number one, number two, Alicia sits back down and the woman walks away from the door. If you wanted to get out that badly, she could have just like, boop. Well, she played it. She played it. Alicia played it smart. Yeah, I know. I know. But I mean, she like, figures she let me warm up to this woman, and then she'll she'll help me out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I get it, you know, like because these are the things that at first I'm like, oh, you dumb bitch, what are you I know. doing? I know. And then you're like, oh, fine, I guess. What well, I guess that's you know that is, what you know? that's what makes the show you know um, a, not a bad show. And then moving on to the end of that portion of the vid- of the the video, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. uh, they end up you know show the. Um, the guests show up as they come down. And here's the other thing that's really funny. So they get downstairs, Elena and Alicia, and yeah. they get to the doors of the bar where Strand and her mom were. Yeah. And she's just immediately pulling shit away from the door. Elena's like, what the fuck are you doing? Why? Yeah. My mom's in there. And what yeah. are you going to do with yeah. your pocket I'm going to take night? out all of them. Yeah, you're going to walk in and start stabbing and thinking you're going to get, Mom, <laughs> Mom. But like, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, you, 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 you claim to be so smart. You think you're, you're this tough chick, and then you're going to go and do du- – this is what annoys me about the writing. It fucking pisses me off, mm-hmm. all right, is, is I just wish it was smarter. I'm kind of tired of dumb dialogue and dumb situations, and I'll continue yeah. to say it. It's either really good writing or really bad writing. Wow. So Ooh, and then dumb situations all throughout the show. What? Dumb situations all yeah, throughout the show. Yeah, I have a good one too. I got episode. a good stupid yeah. dumb thing too that I have to that we'll talk with, about a little bit later. With on. what? With the uh, the next section with the with the two dudes. Um, well, I don't want to jump ahead. So, all right. Well, know, I mean, I just wait. I just wanted to talk. You know, I mean, <laughs> this. You know, and then the, and then the group comes. That what, what was the guy's name again? You said um the the bride the groom the bridegroom Oscar. Oscar. Oscar, he comes yeah. down with the mom and yeah, and it took like, me it took me twice to find out who the other people were. You know, I really had to take a, a look at that, but I kind of spotted him out. Yeah, what's up with my camera? I lowered my camera. You know, I kind of spotted him out uh, right away, and then obviously you saw it was his mom, and then the other couple of people there. I don't think were necessarily anybody. Yeah. Uh, I was just guessing that stuff. we had to worry about. Yeah, mom was like, "I want her dead," and I was like, "Yeah, yeah. yeah kill the bitch." And then who put the rest of the, the guests in? Because obviously that was the rest of the reception that were in, that was locked up in that room, right? Well. No, those were the zombies. The ones that, that Alicia tried to open up the doors on. So where did all those zombies no, go? No, those were those all were from the outside. ones that were falling. Yeah, they fell. They came from across the street. There was in so that. So what store. happened to what happened to the bodies from the initial? They moved. They all went out of that room because they were. Alina oh, okay. and yeah, Hector, yeah, but that was the only. Like, and they may have moved them. them. They probably moved them. They probably well, some them. yeah, I guess somehow they had to have opened up the doors if yeah. they survived. Yeah, don't forget they were moving them around. Her and Hector were moving them around all over the place. Yeah. 
but that's um, but we just def- we're definitely sure that that's who that's that's who moved those bodies out of there because obviously Elena and Hector left and left the groom left the mother well right the but bride. then after that happened they did a bunch of shit they moved them here and there and I just think they were all from all over the fucking place so, yeah I guess I guess they, not, but, it's not a big big thing but, no, but I was just thinking end, I was like who who um where they all come from right like, yeah where they all come where from the yeah, where the where the uh, mother and Oscar, you know, hide to escape them. Well, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. Was... Where they've they been hiding, were right? they so working they... with? You know, you know, it seems like Elena and Hector were just alone, and they were just blocking everybody else away. So then, right. yeah. that's basically yeah. what they were doing. She says, yeah. she I says guess. that they were moving them from floor to floor whenever yeah. they wanted to to yeah. keep the other people below them. Yeah, and she had all that shit stockpiled in the room and stuff. Yeah, uh, she had, and then yeah, with the with the red thing on the doors, and Alicia was finding like the "do not disturb" signs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I mean, and then the whole the whole culmination of that is they get to this weird looking like fancy door in the middle of a fucking like tunnel hallway, right? Yeah, of and course that always happens. The I, locked door at I, the end of the tunnel. Yeah. With this. And I figured it was gonna be Madison. I was really hoping that Madison would have died. I'm like, please make her dead. I was. Alicia's mom. Alicia's mom. That would have been great, though. I mean, yep. I mean, they're not done, obviously, with her. Yeah, and her be. bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I guess. I guess that's you know that's to be expected. Whatever. Cares. Yeah. And then they teased us a I, little bit. I would have been more upset about Walker. Strand. Yeah. That Alicia thought was her mom. They teased us a little bit, but obviously it wasn't. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they did. They certainly did. I'm just gonna. I'm just trying to write some fucking time code down here. Um. So what do we say we go on to uh, to our, our our main guys, Chris and Chris's dad? Because I have a lot of shit to say about that shit too. But I, yeah. I go ahead. Someone else say something. Go for it. Uh, yeah. I mean, Jess, you want to? I mean, I, it doesn't. I mean, I have. Uh, Jess has I, got some I, notes. I have. A, I have a hate speech. Yes. For uh, Chris's dad and how Uh-oh. stupid he is, but uh, I, I'm going to skip over that. No, Chris, we want to hear it. <laughs> save that for the end okay, because okay, it's okay. it's a tirade. Um, so Chris, like he actually showed how good of a survivor he is, uh, being yeah. able to take on the walkers on his own in the bar, saving somebody, even though he probably didn't need to, probably shouldn't have, yeah. uh, although he did steal. So, hmm. mm-hmm. lesser of two evils. Yeah. Uh, that was, that was a very interesting situation. It was in, weird in general. Yeah, you know, because it looked like they shot the owners of that restaurant. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say that too. Do we Don't know? Don't forget that, right? Yeah, it looked exactly recent. Right. It looked recent because the pool and, of blood looks still fresh, right. and they weren't turned. So, yeah. but did they? Well, I mean, we can obviously we'll get into that a little bit more. But but you know, if if um, towards the end, uh, if that if those guys uh, we get their names, but if the one guy, the main guy, I think his name was Brandon. Brandon, if, yeah, if, I think so. If he didn't. If he didn't shoot the farmer that that quick, are those the guys that maybe did that? I mean, I guess they kind of made it. Uh, good you know? point. You bring up a good point. That is I mean, a good point. So they were listening to Chris's obviously, dad. So. Obviously, Nick was Nick. I mean, not Nick. I'm sorry, uh, Chris. 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 Uh, Chris. Uh, Chris annoys me because from the beginning of the show, he's like that outsider. Doesn't know where to fit in. All that kind of stuff. And but he seemed like a, a decent twat. kid. Yeah. yeah. But he said he was he seemed like a good kid. So that whole that whole episode where he's standing over Madison and and uh, Alicia with the knife. Do you what do you guys think about that? Do you think that he was going to do something or th- because I looked at that again and it doesn't look like he was going to be. Oh no, he wasn't there for them. That's what I'm saying. So in that episode, they they kind of made him change. Yeah, we knew that he wasn't there for them. That they didn't know that when they yeah, woke up. But then, up. what made him go nuts and and grab that that kid when he ran off? He grabbed that. He found that guy and his son, and he and Travis was looking for him. His mom died. That's why. But that so now he's he's feeling that now, and then he tries to kill his dad, and fight his dad and knife his dad when yeah, Travis. Yeah, listen, had, he's dude. He's a teenager. I just thought that they made that so stupid. They made him from this kind of, um, at a place. Teenager. But no, but that. But listen, dude, that makes it's, it's sense, like, Mike. Yeah. Listen, if you're an outsider, right? If you're an outsider, if you're a kid, you're in high school, you're yeah. an outsider. Your family's all fucking yeah. weird because your mom and dad are, are split, and yeah. your dad's got a whole new family with two other teenage kids, and it's like it's I, a weird I situation. So. He I felt just, 
I just think that they did it just a little weird, a little too yeah. soon. I mean, you know what I mean? A like, over the top. It just was. It was, it was like a light switch. And all right, we're gonna we're gonna make his character. Well, I didn't totally like. Yeah, out. I mean, it, Chris. Speaking of Chris alone, I mean the whole "woe is me" fucking bullshit. Like that pisses yeah. me off. Where he just but he is smart. What? I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, but he is smart. He's oh no, he's not. He's not. He's not a dumb kid. But he's like. Every time he's on, I think his theme song should be The Last Resort by Papa Roach. Yeah, That's seriously, what I think yeah. of him. <laughs> he's I, I an agree. angsty little teen. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah I agree. He, he's definitely an angsty. Angsty. <laughs> angsty. There we go. Angsty. What does that mean? Is he angst and, sk- and angry? A- angsty. But yeah, he, <laughs> he... he. Yeah, I don't know. I, I agree. I, th- I think... Um, so, I, I mean, I, and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah. All right, you know, what, let me just go through my shit real quick because yeah. I feel like we're gonna, we're all, we all have shit to say about this, and we're all gonna go back and forth. So I'll just start with this. He has this fucking Travis has this plan that we're gonna pick, we're gonna find some place, we're gonna stay there. Meanwhile, Chris is like, I want to do my own thing. I can survive, Dad. Leave me alone, Dad. Yeah. What I don't understand is why are they not? Why is he not going for his wife? Like I just don't understand why all of a sudden he decides. Our plan is to not, I'm not going to go for Madison and the kids. I'm going to do, I'm going to protect my son and not try. I don't, I just. It's because of his culture. No, but. His culture is, is the it? one that prevents. Yeah. All right. So he's from New Zealand and his tribe, they explained it early on. Uh, actually, in the earlier part of the season when they're on the lighthouse. I think, I, yeah. They yeah. go back to their homeland and what they are, they stick together as like a family unit no matter mm-hmm. what. So his son would come above his wife because his wife's not a part of the tribe. So Wait, is it, his this is son from this has a show? closer bond. This is yeah. This yeah. is yeah. like dialogue in the show. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. It's uh, when they're on the island and like the lighthouse. The right. crazy guy like has the cyanide pills or whatever. Mm-hmm. The super pills. Yeah. Uh, he's talking with uh, Travis about uh, like where is he from and all that, and like mention that he's from New Zealand and he's a certain tribe and all sorts of stuff. But wow, the, I don't remember that. They're all, all bonded together. I to remember that. Okay. And, all yeah, right, so that they have a very sense. close tie to their homeland and others of their tribe. All right. I guess I guess that kind of puts my shit down. Yeah, because but he I also... was. Oh, go ahead. I, I was just surprised that Madison wasn't a priority. I mean, Chris mentions like. Chris Madison. That, that's, I get, I, yeah, I mean, it makes yeah. sense now because he mentions you just want to stay around here, so. You for her close to madison and i'm like yeah well, and you why aren't you true? going to find I mean, but you found your son so why won't you go either way he's still. trying to he's trying to get his son back to not being this because we see that we see the dialogue between them um uh about uh you know having to sh- should they go with them and how they disagreed on that how they disagreed with going with well, the that's guys just, back but that's to, just part know. of that yeah, but was, it shows where they're at well right and you know and we're still trying to find out what what's what who Nick is. And obviously, by Chris. the end of the episode, we end up that he, we find out that he's well, Chris is. fucking killer. Well, you know I, what? I keep saying Nick. I know. Well, um, he, but here's, Chris. well, here's the thing, because my thought about that is this: is that Travis thought he could save his son, right? That's the whole point. That that is but, that is the whole point. Eh. But but Chris is like not he's not who Travis thinks he is. So mm-hmm. Travis's son is not who he thinks he is, and he slowly realizes that throughout the episode. You know, yep. you could you can pass it off as well. He's 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 young. He's rambunctious. He's he's feeling his oats. He's learning how to survive in this world, and it's really yeah. empowering him as a as a he. What is he? Sixteen, seventeen? Yeah. I don't even think he's yeah. like eighteen. You know. Yeah, so, I think he's a, yeah maybe even a little because he's not the same age as Alicia, right? And wasn't Alicia still like a, maybe a senior or something like that? She right. Was like, uh, either way, he's probably like fifteen, so. sixteen years yeah. old. And yeah. the thing is, is is I get it. Like, and I was like, okay, so he's just being a dick and difficult just because he's a teenager and that's what he wants to do. And mm-hmm. this is almost like a once he once he learned that I am somebody. I'm not this these people's burden. I'm somebody. You know. Yeah. Um, and slowly, you know, Travis is realizing that. And then he finds these three college kids who he fits in perfectly with. Yeah. And they accept him. And he, I mean, he obviously says it in the show, too. He says, well, these guys accept me. Our people didn't. He's like, we have people. Yeah. He's like, 
excuse me he's like dad we need people he's like we have people or we had yeah. people and he's we like, had and they, people and what and happened they didn't, or they didn't you know they looked at me weird basically like they didn't yeah. trust me and he's yeah. like these people do and i was yeah. just like well you know when, when chris shot the guy i was like I'm, i wasn't surprised and Travis is like, wow, that's my son now. <laughs> and and he offered to, to pick his dad up, and, and Travis didn't take it. Yeah. Right. You know? But when we go back to the beginning, when we first saw them, um, the thing that bothered me, the, the stupid part of the show that I thought was, was ridiculous, was when, uh, obviously, when uh, Travis jumps out uh, and tells the guys, hey, you know, I'm here yep. with my son or whatever. <laughs> that, they was my, made, that was they my made, tirade. They made a little camp. They made a little campfire and the guy's stringing up cans with string and he's like oh this is our uh, booby traps or whatever but it was like two feet it's away two from, feet the- from the fire I, I said i have that in my notes i'm like yeah like, guys that, that, yeah, that's yeah, not gonna, like, that's it, not it's too late enough. buddy <laughs> nah. Clink, clink, way clink. Too late. Oh, hey, what's up? He's literally a foot from you. They're like, like right on top of you. you yeah, can, I just, it's like, that close, you could hear the fucking yeah. zombie. You're like, come on, dude. <laughs> I'm thinking they're going to, you know, string it up. Yeah, or, I was like, like I thought the like, same fucking thing. Okay, was, that's you know. And then yeah, I was thinking it was going to be a multi, like, ring thing. Uh, no, but then one ring. You can't up high, and then that's when you saw that it was, like, two feet away f- around them, fucking you know. Yeah, that was one of the, I mean, that that made me, I was I was laughing when I saw that. but. Here's 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 a note, all right? Why? I I'm sure you guys thought the same thing, the same thing even Travis was thinking, okay? Yeah. These guys show up, they're young guys. He's like, why is it? And it's the same thing in The Walking Dead and other things like this. And it this is a broader thing, but like, why why is it that when humans meet up with each other, you immediately think they're gonna kill you, like? What does because that they say? Probably are. But but that's the thing. That what does that say they about our fucking race? Like, you know? What does that say about us as humans? Like I can't roll up on a group of people, and the first thing they think of is that I'm gonna kill. What if it was like holy shit? Other oh, people that are not dead trying to kill me. Dude, look hey, at the world we're living right now. What's up? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I don't get somebody it, like, walks up in your house right now. Life. What are you gonna think? Oh, yeah. they're gonna kill me. Yeah. There you that's, go. Isn't that horrible though? No, of course it's horrible. Like, but, life you know. isn't bad enough in that situation. Yeah. And now I have to worry. Like, I roll up on people and I got to be like, hey, are you going to fucking slip my throat? Yeah. Steal my shit? Rape well, I mean, my heck. dog? Like, what? Why? You know? I mean, maybe maybe they also felt... Well, I mean, obviously it was only two to three, but maybe no, he but felt a little outnumbered. No, but in general, man, or... it's like... Oh, well, in it's general, just, too. It just sucks. It just makes me, like, downtrodden. Because I know this is fiction, but it's not. Because that would happen. There's some That's truth how, to it. I would love the world if the world was going to end up having something bad like that happen. I'd love for everyone to help each other as opposed to be like, "Well, I'm going to well, fucking will be kill some. you." No, I'm going to defend some. myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy's got the arsenal ready. But, but Jesse, yeah. if someone, but that's the thing though. Like you, you know, and and uh, listen, I'm saying this, but at the same time, I also would be weary. I'd be like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" I have whoa, whoa. a drawer full right here of stuff ready to defend myself. I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to. Let somebody I'm come up grab my, my wife and kids, and we're gonna head down to Jesse's house. Well, that's the thing too. Now that also is a big part of it. Now, if you do have a family, if you do have loved ones like this, compared to somebody that's single or something that has nothing else to lose, nobody else to worry about, no one else to be responsible for, responsible for. But I mean, we did see it in Walking Dead in the beginning, because I think you guys said in the beginning I was a little confused about how long the timeline was for Fear the Walking Dead. Right. Now, if it's only been a few weeks or whatever it's been. It's only been 27 days. Maybe. Yeah, so if it's 27 days, okay. So within 27 days, everything, the shit has hit the fan. So mm-hmm. in Walking Dead, we did see a lot of groups coming together in the beginning. And well, think it's yeah. only been like two years. You for know, the, or so I mean, for The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead was, was obviously a little bit different because we didn't see the rest of the world like we're seeing it so abruptly in fear. We actually, yeah. like I was saying in the last episode, that it was, we, it was more about it was more about zombies first. Yeah. yeah. So later on, obviously, we saw how much that there were a lot more people out there, and that and and there's a threat. But of course, you know, I mean, and these guys didn't give me a great vibe either. I mean, there was it was James, baby James, Derek, and Brandon. Those were the three names of these yeah. guys. So baby James, Derek, and Brandon. Yeah. yeah, they didn't give me any kind of a uh, necessarily a good vibe in the beginning like i felt like i couldn't trust them but when travis and um and uh chris, chris and the guys f- came to that farm and chris that's the one thing i disagreed with with uh travis is i uh they couldn't stay there together you need you need more people it just couldn't be him uh before they found out that there were other people still living at the farm 
but Travis had said like, we can stay here. We can stay here, and and, and uh, I agreed with Chris in that aspect. And now you know we can't stay here. Just me. No, we need, we people, need a group. Yeah. You know, we definitely need a group because anybody can come through with some gun, with some guns, five, ten people, or something, and just take you out. It doesn't matter. You, it's only two of you. And they didn't have guns. Chris and Travis don't have guns. No, you know? no, but obviously the guys well, gave did. Chris well, the Chris gun. Does. I guess he did. Yeah. Well, did, did Chris didn't have that gun? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I think that was did. one from, from uh, the, the mid-season beginning? finale. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, so, all right. So, in the end, he's just been but, hiding it from. Yeah. So, my point is basically, um, in the beginning, <laughs> those, those three, the three guys you didn't necessarily trust. They kind of seemed almost similar to the guys that met up with Herschel and and Rick yeah. and Barr. Yeah. Nebraska. You know. Yeah. So obviously, those guys were um, were were assholes, and we don't necessarily see that yet because, like I said earlier, they we they weren't the yet. ones that pulled the trigger on the farmer. Yeah. Chris did, and and the whole agenda, uh, I'm assuming we'll see, um, is, you know, what's going to happen, uh, you know, in the next in the next couple episodes to see, you know, from that from that point on, and uh, how those guys are going to react to Chris pulling the trigger and killing that uh, killing the farmer. I mean, do you guys think that Travis is going to leave? I would I would say, you know, I don't I don't necessarily know. Um, what's going to happen, obviously, but um, I don't know how I feel about staying with, with, with Chris, and that might be a good time just to say, you know what, dude, my son's a fucking whack job. <laughs> Screw my heritage, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, just, I, you know? You know, I think, I, be, I mean, obviously he's going to be like, oh, fuck, man, like, I don't know what That's to a, fucking do it, now, like, this is my son. Just murdered somebody. Yeah, If he like, leaves sh- Chris, I will for. I will start calling him Travis again. But if he doesn't leave Chris, he's still Chris's dad. He's still Chris's dad. <laughs> you know, fucking Chris, man. Chris is the fucking, is the other Alicia. I like to call Chris the other Alicia. All right. Because yeah. you just ruin everything all the time. Yeah. Kind of like Andrea. Yeah, you just, fuck again, there's really two Andreas Andrea. in the show. You got to fucking just ruin everything all the time. But at least it's, yeah. a, it's an interesting situation where... Yeah. Not only do you have Chris with these guys, they've accepted him, but they'll turn on him in fucking a heartbeat yeah. and a heartbeat. They may even turn on him right now. We don't know. We didn't Never see. Know. We didn't see how yeah. that ended. Yeah, no, we don't see. Um, we don't see they, that. We didn't but see they seemed that... both chummy when 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 Travis was was uh, watched them uh, walk off to the barn where they found right. the chickens. Yeah. The guys were all joking around and 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 nudge, you know giving the, the ribbings and they all. They were shoving stuff. buddies, right? Yeah, yeah they, they were, were like, oh, buddies, like, yeah. like best buds. So I mean, obviously but, uh, but they, now but I feel like now, they would turn now Chris on. feels Except in a, in a yeah. part of a group. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and I think that's what we get from this from this whole this whole um, episode as far as the Chris the Chris's aspect of. Of uh, where he is and where he's how fitting. what he feels about right yet. And, yeah, and, and because he, from from before he was an outsider, he changes. He's grasping this new world. He's using some mom skills. Mom dies. He should yeah, be killed. You know, you know like yeah. that's that's and they insane. mentioned that's a rough they said, thing. "Oh, dude, your son's ha- has some skills." And even when um, they asked him, "How many did you kill?" and Travis is like, "I don't count." He's like seventeen. Bitches. And he's like <laughs> seventeen of them. So you know, he's 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 um, he's enjoying it. Yeah. Chris is enjoying it, and we find that, and, and Travis sees it now. Travis really sees, and the culmination of everything to yeah. to where he kills this this farmer. And now Travis really knows that his son is lost, and I don't think he'll be getting him back. Well, okay, no. but see here, and here here's the thing: lost to him, but not lost to himself. It, Chris isn't lost I mean, to he's himself. He's a sixteen year old. Yeah. he's lost to his dad. He's got everybody has to cope. The way they're gonna cope. Travis is coping very poorly in this world. He's not equipped. I'm sorry. Travis is not fucking. Chris's dad is not equipped for this world. He's just not. He doesn't have the killer instinct. He doesn't even have any survival instinct. The only instinct he has is to protect his son, but he has absolutely no idea how to do that. And he doesn't need to anyway because Chris can do it on his own, Mm -hmm. which is what Chris is learning. I could do this on my own. Yeah. 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 How was, like I was like uh, is it is it a stick shift at first I'm saying when no when it's automatic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, calm down, son. Don't push on the gas that hard. Yeah. Oh, oh and I had a thought about that too. Like, right? hey, I'm let like, me let me let my son that doesn't know how to drive. Let me teach him how to drive, and he's gonna waste all this fucking gas. If he, yeah. if Travis kept driving, yeah. they would have probably had another like Maybe five a little ten bit miles longer. out of that shit. Yeah, he's just gassing Instead of it. Gassing the fuck out of it. That's I mean, and that was in the beginning of of, road, of when you know? we first saw them. 
So maybe they were trying to show us or, or show us that that maybe Chris has come back to normal a little bit and that he's not uh, no, he's just you know, trying a father-son yeah. bonding thing. Yeah. He's all, all, all happy and all like, yeah, can I really try, Dad? Can I try, Dad? Like, 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 you know, they, they gave us that. But then, yeah. obviously, you know, things changed at the end of the episode. Well, you know, so what we took away from this episode is that Travis now realizes that his son is not who he thinks he is. Yeah. Or, or more importantly, Far not who he being. wants him to be. Yeah, oh, of course. And, and that's an important, I think that's that's an important distinction. Yeah, Travis is naive. He, he yeah, well, you know, it's funny because I, I, I actually was going to say that Chris was naive too in that, you know, he's like, hey, these guys, he says they're good people. And I laughed out loud at that. I fucking LOL'd at that because I'm like, first of all, you're a fucking kid. You don't even know people, dumbass, number yeah. one. Number two, did you... Oh, because they didn't kill you when you fucking stole from them? That they fucking, they're good people yeah. because they like you? Like, he's so fucking immature. I hope he dies. But enough of that, Jess. I want to hear your rant. Let's hear your rant about Travis and Travis's son. Travis. Before that, I have uh, <laughs> some statistics here. Okay. Uh, some numbers, rather. Yeah. So we have the youngest coming in, Chris, 16. Alicia, 17. Nick, 19. That's three out of seven. Or, yeah, three out of the seven main cast members are under 20. Right. So that's why you got a lot of angst. Uh, of course, yeah. And then you have um, Ophelia. She's like mid-30s. Yeah. Uh, Victor, Madison, and Chris's dad are all 40s to yeah. mid-40s. Yeah. So that, that's where we're coming at in that. Yeah. Um, 600 more days has passed in The Walking Dead than has passed in Fear the Walking Dead. We are at 627 days as of the most recent Walking Dead episode. Mm-hmm. So that just gives you a time frame of how everything's gone down. Yeah. So where are we at in Fear? We're 27, 27 days he said. Yeah, yeah, 27 days in, and we're 1.7 years into The Walking Dead days. at 627 wow. okay, days. So it's still early. So these things are fucking... Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they're not that de- decrepit yet. They're not. They're all still wearing clothing and. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have arms. All right, and they're doing okay with that. So I think they're doing okay with that then. Yeah. Keeping that. Legit. I mean, it, it, it's kind of gone to hell really quick though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at this time frame, I believe Rick would be awake. So. We're seeing what it's like on the other part of the world, mm-hmm. or other part of the like. Well, continent. actually, I think he was awake after that because there was, was some... And they said about a month, I think, right? But remember uh, but remember when he saw a bicycle girl? Remember? Half, yeah. half, half, of, she was only half of her. Yeah. Right? She, that was, uh, that was, that was a lot of decomposition. That was, that the wasn't first... decomposition though. That was supposedly. Rick wakes up on day 59. There you go. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. but that so was a decomposition two because in, that yeah, was, two that had to have been, uh. That she had to have been one of the first ones turned. Chopped somehow by maybe... Well, obviously, yeah, but I'm saying she, she or... was like no clothing with skin. And... Anyway, yeah. Yeah. enough about that. Okay, cool, though, man. Thank you. That's so the tirade. <laughs> the tirade, yeah. All right. Travis is a dumb cunt. That, let's get that out of the way first. All right? From now on, Travis will be named Chris's dad. So idiot pops up out of the bushes. Strike number one. Idiot tries to get between guy with a shotgun and... Like three to four armed people right. holding a chicken also. Yeah. Not the brightest idea. Uh, if I wanted to go further back, he's a complete and utter idiot. Uh, <laughs> but that takes the cake. He doesn't put the frijoles on the fire. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't do it. All right. So yeah. they're eating cold canned food cold, instead of yeah. warming it up. Even 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 fucking what's his name? Uh, Brandon takes out the spam and puts it on his fucking knife. Yeah, exactly. Charring the fucking fire. So instead of getting full and being satisfied, you're not. You don't have enough nutrition from what you've had. Uh, and you're hiding in a bush, hoping that people with a flashlight and a spotlight don't see you. Well, that was the other thing, too. Like. You're literally a hundred feet from the road. Like you could see the road from your campsite. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. remember the time yeah. we went camping? And like, what are you a fucking idiot? Like, yeah. hey, you're not good at that this. Time we went camping with the dead. Yeah. yeah. No, this never happened before. You're not good at this, man. Travis is. I'm told you he's not equipped, and he's, he's realizing not. his son is. 
Yeah. His son is equipped because his son is broken inside. I'm sorry, his son's broken. Chris well, is broken. Well, Travis has some good qualities too, I think, though. Yeah, but in the real world. And yeah. He was, and, and can I be honest yeah. with you, man? He wasn't doing that great anyway. No, well, that's the thing with you know, the foot. He wasn't doing that great maybe, in the, in the, maybe in the previous Maybe I have a world. feeling that's gonna, that something's going to happen with that foot. And maybe we'll see that foot get infected and something Russia happen. 2.0? Maybe. Russia. Maybe he'll foot, die. It was healing, though. And, it was healing. It looked like it might have been healing. Nah, I know. Happy. I mean, it could. It could. But, Let's um, hope not. Hey, he's got, more, he's got bigger things to worry about right now than his fucking foot. He's got to worry yeah. about what he's going to do with... Well, just, you know, because you know, they, the they, they did show it. His, they did purposely have to show, show it. Yeah. You know, they did show it. So maybe that's just something for for the future that, that they want us to kind of foreshadow, that they're trying to foreshadow for us. Yeah. Um, I think we should start wrapping it up, but I just wanted to say one last thing, like just a broader question is that um, question slash statement, how Travis says that they're working on it. And Chris goes, who's they? You know what I yeah. mean? And think about it. There's definitely a choice between letting them, quote unquote, them figure it out or start yeah. living like it's never going to get solved. So yeah. it's like that's a that's a fucking choice, man. That's that's a life choice. Like you because you, if otherwise you're, you're just surviving and waiting as opposed to surviving and moving forward in whatever way shape or form that you can manage and i and i thought that that's like a really like cool question like a broader question like mm -hmm. where do you stand like obviously travis is like i think we're gonna it's gonna go back to normal we gotta wait and then you have chris being like well i don't think that's gonna happen so and it's yeah. just really interesting that that's a, to me that's a really interesting question um that you know we could do a whole show on in itself but here's another interesting thing based on that i think like what happens if they could make a really cool answer to that question in either the form of like say like a, a drama or miniseries or even or a comedy and the premise yeah. would be what would happen if there was a group of people that in an apocalyptic situation decided that listen we're not waiting for anyone to fix it we're yeah. gonna survive but then things get fixed and now they have to either cope live in a world where they're now they're not in that mentality anymore now they're in a in a survival mentality while the world is getting put back together like i thought that could be an interesting type of situation that's why i said either a comedy you know or like a drama but maybe a mini series because i don't know how long you could drag that out you know what i mean make yeah. it like yeah. a finite thing but i thought that might be an interesting situation where it's like you have this group and i don't know if it's ever been done before you know um there's a show revolution but they have that they redid society there's badlands yeah you know where yeah. they've they've they have their own society still it's not as it's not like well unless they can come out of, unless there's some kind of a cure you know oh in this it'll, world it'll, no, it'll this never world, right. we yeah, know yeah. now we obviously yeah. know that but I'm, i just i was just throwing that out there as yeah. like a last little like question no, I... so what would you guys like so let's just put it to the let's just put it to a uh, how about a quick little question at the end here what would you guys do in a situation like this this early on in this situation it's hard i mean you can't you know we've never been in a situation you can't tell but in you your never heart know. what do you think you would do right now would you be someone that's waiting for them to fix it or would you immediately go and be and go into survival mode you know personally yeah. i think i would go into survival mode i wouldn't wait for anybody yeah, well, survival survival mode is a is it could be a broad a broad definition of yeah. of 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 well, the not situation. Waiting. How about not I mean, waiting? Well, not necessarily waiting, but you could you could have that's what I was saying about Travis. You could still have faith that there is something that's going to happen, but you got to save your ass right now um, with what's going on. You got to yeah. make sure that you're definitely going to. Um, I mean, to go into survival mode is is one thing, but. But still, still hoping and 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 uh, uh, surviving in the meantime until possibly something happens. Yeah. I mean, I like to think that. Uh, yeah, I mean, all of us. You never truly will know what kind of person you you turn out to be. I mean, did the governor think he was going to turn out to this to be you know the the, the person he was, or right. we don't necessarily know. I mean, even with Negan or even Rick, how much Rick evolved or how Shane evolved. Do you think that Shane would have ever done well, anything you know with what? Lori before? It's a, that's interesting. And, and there are there are ways. Like think about like your personal like how you deal with situations. Yeah. Are you a survivor? Do you immediately? think the worst the worst is coming 
Yeah. Do you break down and be like, I can't get through this? And I'm talking like, you know, you, you missed a paycheck at work or you got fired from your job mm. or, you know, you broke up with your girlfriend or, mm. you know what I mean? Like those are the situations that can tell you as a person, not to say that people are stuck in one mode that they can't change. You could have been, you could have been a blubbering mess when, before, before the apocalypse, yeah. but then all of a sudden, you know, so I'm, I mean, there's a lot of, yeah. you know, wiggle room to there, but yeah. initially I think like, how are you in those situations in mm. those, situations it's that, fight or flight it, yeah you know like are you gonna fight for what you believe in and what you want to do yeah. or are you gonna shy away and hope someone else fixes it and yeah. that's a I, I guess that's a bigger metaphor for basically everything that we go through they kind of touched on that too on the episode uh with um brandon when they were in the back of the truck and oh brandon yeah he was like the end yeah. of times uh the end of times made us gods yeah. and, and no it's, bills it's no traffic su- supernatural no fucking, yeah. yeah he's like this is supernatural so, uh, and Travis is like, and he also says, uh, Brandon uses the word awesome. And Travis is like, I wouldn't consider this awesome. And that's when he said, oh, we don't have bills. We don't have this. We don't have right. that. Right. So obviously, yeah. I mean, and, and, you know, the world, the way the world is and you know, in reality, I mean, it might be a thousand times worse than it is right now because just the world is, is gone to shit in many, in many, uh, many different ways. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess you never truly know. I mean, uh. Until so you're in, look at Carol. Look at look at look at what we've seen already yeah. in 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 some of these, and you'll get a lot of answers to the question. You know, with the characters that we already know from The Walking yeah, Dead. That's a good point. She 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 fucking stepped up and turned yeah. into someone. Yeah. Like look at look, look at even Andrea. Andrea learned she was in one well, from the comics. She's like a, yeah. a sharpshooter shooter and everything. Oh, she like, yeah, she turned into some. You know, I mean, yeah. she did. They kind of, they kind of, they kind of uh, put that out there on the show. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. Not she was more of a fucking nuisance. Redeeming. What? Not anything, or not enough to give her anything redeeming. Right. Yeah. But um, you know, it's funny. I felt bad for um uh, the woman who plays Andrea. I forget her name right now. But Lori, uh, Holden. Lori Holden, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I was at Comic Con one year, we saw her, and like there was nobody there. <laughs> There's like nobody at her booth. Nobody wanted to get her signature. Nothing was, against her. Her character sucked. Uh, so I think we're getting. I think we're pretty much. I think that's pretty much everything we want to discuss about that stuff, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, a strange world. Strange world. We don't know what we do. You know. Huh? Yeah. I don't know what you do and who you become. For anybody out there wanting to know, the tribe that uh, Chris and Travis belong to are the Maori tribe of New Zealand. Uh, they're a Polynesian tribe. You can look into their culture and verify for yourself what I've said. Cool. Sounds good. Nice, man. Just is our fact finder, man. Nice. <laughs> Guys, this has been the Third Person Podcast. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We talked about Season 2 of Fear the Walking Dead, Episode 10, Do Not Disturb. We had a lot to say about these things. Um, I think it's hilarious that we're getting so involved in a show that we just don't care that much about. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to say that, yeah. So, um, but um, it just to show you the dedication we're putting into this show for you guys. And please leave comments for us. Let us know what you guys yes. think about it. Start a conversation amongst yourselves down there. Please get us at Twitter and Instagram at Third Person Pod. We're also on Facebook. And hopefully we have enough likes that it's going to be, we can set it to a, uh, a legit Facebook where it's, you can get to us at third person pod on Facebook yeah. as well. Absolutely. I'm still working on getting our audio up. I think, I think by this time I'll have us up on SoundCloud. I'm trying to get us on iTunes. Uh, if you guys want to hear that, if you want to hear just audio down below, there should be a link for just the MP3 file. If you want to hear, if you want to just get to the MP3 and you can't watch the video. And I think that's it guys, right? Absolutely. I think, I think that's everything. So again, third person pod on Twitter, Instagram, you want to check out some of our stuff. Anything else? Last, any last note, thoughts? That's it. Anything you uh, want to say? No, I guess we'll see what goes on. Uh, you know, next week it seems like every every week so far has just been flip flopping. So next week it seems like we're gonna get a lot more of um, of Nick again. Yeah. We're gonna so, get uh, we're gonna get some Nick and some Alejandro. I can tell you right now, we're gonna, we're yeah, gonna find out about that's that. Right, that's about right. That damn bite. That's so. right. All right, guys. Ooh. I think that's it. Did you just bring that up? Yeah, I did, and I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna or leave that it. gunshot. We're gonna that leave gunshot. It. He was not bitten. You heard it first. He was not bitten. Right. It was a gunshot right. of some sort. No, he was bitten. <laughs> no, he was bitten. Dude. He's not bitten. He's there's no there's no saving that. Dude, dude, it was, it was dude. a gunshot. You didn't watch you didn't watch the uh, coming attractions, did you? 
What? Yeah. Go watch no, the coming no. attractions. I don't care what the coming attractions are. Go watch the coming attractions. That's it. We're going to end it. Anyways. Anyways. See you later, guys. Bye, maggots. <laughs> <laughs>